Good afternoon, guys. Um, so in front of the camera here, we have the Universal Tarot. I actually uh, bought this yesterday and did the unboxing and, and review video last night. However, um, my flash was not on my camera and um, the details were not being picked up too well, especially on the backs of the cards. Um, the colors were not coming through. So I thought it would be better to try and do it uh, with a flash so that you could see a little bit better and get a better idea of the cards. Um, my intention in buying this was to to get a traditional version because I did not have a traditional version in my collection and the uh, everyday deck that I n use is um, you know more non-traditional uh, deck. I use the Ostara Tarot which is in one of my previous videos. Um, if you notice that I'm talking pretty fast, uh, it is because I'm trying to get through the video. Um, my kids are here. They, they normally are not here on the weekends. They normally go with my parents and um, they did not this weekend. So they are here and I'm trying to get this done so that we can have quiet time. Um, so yeah, I thought this was important. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I, I paid $23.99 for this. It was not, I did not want to spend that much on this deck. It wasn't a visually appealing deck. Um, it was just a deck that I felt was necessary and would be um, important for me to have. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a right away, a right away Smith version, but it was not. Um, it is inspired by the right-of-way version, um, but it is reinterpreted by the painter Roberto De Angelis. So the cards are very similar. They're almost identical. Um, you can see some of them here on the back. There are very minor differences, maybe such as like a color of a shirt I noticed in one of them. Um, but very very similar um so we're just gonna go ahead and get through the deck and the box it's just your standard regular box nothing special with your guide in the back Put that right there. so yeah the guide I already looked through this, like I said, um, I opened it already. The first 14 pages are your entire guide. The rest is in different languages, so that is not at all useful for, for you. So you're gonna be just looking at the first 14 pages. It's very simple, very basic. They give you uh, one example of a spread, um, they don't give the explanation of the spread until two pages further in. Um, it is called the search for the end spread. Gives you a little bit of information on divination, the history of tarot through the years of 1442 and 1944. Um, it talks about the tarot, de the tarot deck itself and how it was inspired by the A.E. Waits works while recreating the same symbolic immediacy of the tarot by Pamela Coleman Smith in modern style. That's what it says here. Um, it says, there are, however, some substantial differences. The softer and more dynamic style of the De Angelis captures some of the, uh, some of the symbolic synthesis and sobriety of the pre-Raphaelesque illustrations. In exchange, the more modern and realistic aspect is more consistent with our time and more in tune with the thinking of contemporary man. Then it goes into the major arcana, and then your minors, and then that's it. Um, give you brief, brief uh, explanation and key words. For instance, the magician here is initiative, spiritual presence, ability, and shrewdness, will, and free thinking, the beginning of undertakings, brilliant ideas. So very simple, basic guide, um, just a little something to have with it. Um, and then 
they are not in order. I did a reading with it last night with my fiance. These are the backs, and um, as I was saying, the video I did last night was not picking up at all these colors. Um, the video I did last night, these cards looked black, completely black, with, uh, with gold, black, and red. That's the only colors that were coming up on my camera. But as you can see, there are blues and greens and purples. And the card is actually blue with the black border. It is not solid black. It did come up looking solid black. Um, so I actually like the backs of these. Um, I was thinking of edging it in black. I think it would look nice if it was edged in black. Um, okay, so let's get into the deck. Uh, like I said, it's not in order. We're going to go quick. Okay, so we have the world. Eight of Swords. Where you going? Where you going? Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, uh, and then they, uh, instead of using cups, they use chalices, so it's wands, swords, chalices, and pentacles. A hermit, um, queen of wands, king of wands, the stars, which I found interesting with this because um, all the other tarot decks I've noticed the star card is, um, is singular, the star. Um, whereas this is plural, the stars. So if anyone has any idea why that, why that is, um, feel free to comment below. Strength. You know, the more that I mess with these, more I say mess. The more that I play around with these, and the more that I look at them, I actually like them a lot more. Um. So Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups. Um, I don't know what it is, but I can see, I can definitely see how people um, bond with their more tra their traditional versions. I like this one too, the lovers. The fool. Judgment, my fiance actually likes this card a lot. Mommy's almost done. Yeah, this was actually um, one of the differences that I noticed um, because in the Rider Way Smith version, I believe this this guy's shirt is red. Um, so yeah, just like a minor difference, but very much alike. And, um, so I did buy an oracle as well yesterday along with this. Um, like I said, this wasn't really visually appealing. It wasn't something that I was, like, really excited about getting. It was just something I felt that I needed to get. So, um, so 
also I did pick up an Oracle deck as well. So I'm going to try and do that video also, but I, I'm not going to be able to fit it into this one. High Priestess. Ace of Chalices. Devil. And if you notice too how they have in the different languages also the um, the card. Or the name of, you know, what it is. They have it also in different languages. Fiance and I both like this one. And that is it. So that's the Universal Tarot. Um, cards were reinterpreted by painter Roberto De Angelis. And he was inspired by the Rider Wave Smith version. Um, so there you have it. That's the Universal Tarot. And I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please share um, and stay tuned for my next video on the Oracle deck that I bought, which was, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys, it is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, which I'm actually very pleased with, um, so that'll be my next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have a good day.